Why are so many creators have been using QR codes in their videos lately? We thought that QR codes are the thing of the past. Well, there are interesting explanation to that and the other two trends that I'm gonna cover in today's video. For those of you who are not familiar, these things are called QR codes. You can point your phone's camera at one of these codes and it will prompt you to access the link that is embedded within this visual. I've noticed that nearly every major creator have included a QR code in their latest video. The explanation is very interesting. It has to do everything with the increased number of people watching YouTube on their TV. According to the latest research, nearly 50% of all viewership on YouTube actually happens on the TV screen. YouTube also is becoming the primary streaming platform in the United States and with this it actually offers an opportunity for the viewer to engage with more than a single device at a time. And now instead of letting your viewer drift away while scrolling through shorts and TikTok while they're watching your video on the TV screen, you can embed as a creator one of those codes, prompt your viewer to scan one of those codes and now now they can engage with you on more than a single device. I know now it sounds like one of those Gen Z memes about how many TV screens can you put in between yourself and your TV, but this is the reality of things and it's surprising that in my mind QR codes were the thing of the past yet they're making a strong comeback and they're becoming a very effective tool for the creators to engage with their audience and one type of that engagement is the next trend. In his latest video Mr. Beast offered his viewers an opportunity to buy one of the memorabilia from the set of that video. Hacksmith offered you an opportunity to buy pieces of John Wick's costume, the entire bulletproof John Wick's costume, pieces of Iron Man armor and even a lightsaber. Creators now have a new way to monetize their content. With the increasing budgets and the cost of production of the YouTube videos, many creators cannot recoup all the costs on the AdSense alone, so they have to add additional revenue streams. Event time purchases are a great way to do so because they're directly tied to the video that their viewers currently enjoying. It is actually carrying an additional way for you to recoup the cost of that video and potentially also to fund the subsequent videos that you're planning ahead. If you log in to watch that video and try to buy one of these items 20 to 30 minutes after the video is released, forget about it. Most of the coolest items will be gone, so you have to be right there at the premiere of the video and you have to act quick. The way to accomplish this is for you to subscribe to that channel and enable the notifications on every video that they post. Both of these actions are actually a very positive sign for the YouTube algorithm that signals them that this video and this channel is desired and it should be pushed to a wider audiences, which eventually increases the chances of the project to go viral. But what if you're not really into this viral rat race? What if you do not want to hunt and chase people down for that knickknack paddywhack sales immediately after the video? What if you want them to just enjoy your content? This is where this third trend comes in. In the past couple of years, Mr. Beastification of YouTube is actually a hot topic. I mean, people are not wrong. The copycats that follow the playbook that MrBeast have created are popping on YouTube daily. It's not surprising that so many creators follow the playbook created by the biggest YouTube creator. It's tested, it's familiar, even a fraction of that audience are still millions of viewers. Don't get me wrong, I'm not the one to throw stones in a glass house. I adapted some of those techniques because this is what the viewers are used to. But what if you don't have to? What if you don't have to replicate the same methods? This is where the New Wave YouTube comes in. New Wave is a group of YouTubers who said, screw that, we're not gonna succumb to this trend, we're not gonna fall for the fast cuts, overused graphics or constant challenge videos, we will create for the sake of art, we will create for the sake of expressing our ideas and we will not follow the YouTube's hunger for more of the MrBeast clones. If you use the New Wave YouTube tag in this video or you just simply type New Wave YouTube into your search, you will come across many talented creators who are producing some of the best videos that I've seen on YouTube lately. They're certainly pushing the boundaries of what we consider a YouTube video today. And do I think this trend will stick? I think so, but for very different reasons. In my years of following YouTube and the YouTube trends, I definitely see certain loops reoccurring over and over again. Back in the day, we used to upload very short videos on YouTube, then people realized the longer form content will track, then Vine came across and all of a sudden we were into the six second videos, then we start getting into the 10 plus minute vlogs just following someone's daily life and daily routine, then we got into the TikTok, shorts, reels and faster paced content. And now I can see viewers getting tired of that fast pace and they crave something slower, until there will be a new trend, a new faster paced content and we'll be back on that loop all over again. Life goes in cycles, fashion goes in cycles, creator economy will go in its own cycles. I certainly think New Wave YouTube is here to stay and I also think QR codes are here to stay. Shopping events around major video releases are definitely here to stay, they're way too effective. And when it comes to other interesting trends that I think will continue to grow, check out this video that I made about CoffeeZilla. This guy is bringing S-tier investigative journalism 
to YouTube, something that we will not see outside of major cable networks or major funded documentary projects. Definitely check this guy out. I'll see you next Saturday. Peace.